Hello everyone, welcome to this week's life and death section. In this week, we'll be looking at a very, very classical shape called the big pig mouth. Um, so the big pig mouth is literally the corner um, that, that, that we see on the board right now, right? So the, the reason we call it the big pig mouth is uh, because of this shape that forms sort of a pig mouth. Um, So this corner happens very often in real games as well. So what what is exactly going on, right? Like so, if it's if it's White's turn to play, uh, White can just play uh, any point like this, right? Playing playing at S17 is gonna make a life as well. So if White's turn to play, no problem. White can make clean alive. So what about if it's Black's turn, right? What happens in this corner? So let's take a look. Well, the first instinct we have is to uh, go from the outside, maybe, right? So let's 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 try it out, right? We try to shrink the eye space for white, and that's usually a good a good idea when you try to when you, when you try to uh, kill a group. White has no choice but to block, right? So if white plays like this, black can just come in. Right, white tries to make an eye, I can just destroy this eye, and you have one eye left and it's dead. So not a good idea for white to not block here. So white is forced to block here. And now if we go from the outside, white makes a life like this. If we go to this middle point that looks very, uh, very vital, uh, turns out that white can just connect, right? And then if you go like this, I make two eyes, and similarly, uh, this won't kill white either. And if you go from outside, white can just uh, capture your stone. So, so after this, black cannot kill white anymore. Um, so it seems like we we really have maybe this one to try. Uh, white takes. Now black has to prevent uh, white playing S17, so he plays it. A white go from the T18 point. Black cannot come in because white can just capture, so so white is basically alive like this as well. The 2-2 two -two point does not work either. What about the 1-2 point? Well, white connects. And black extend to squeeze the eye space. White tries to make two eye, and then now black has a really, really nice move, right? That is the throw in here. White cannot connect because we can just capture. And if white captures, we can squeeze the eye space here, and white has one eye and therefore is dead. Similarly, if white resist at this point uh, we can extend as well right so no matter what white plays if white plays this one we're back to the same situation and if white plays this one uh, we can just squeeze the eye space so if white takes we can just uh, respond to it and and um, you know what is cool is there's no way for white to live. Uh, white plays this one, we throw in again. White tries to increase ice space. We are Tari and Sente. White is forced to connect, and we connect back. This is definitely uh, white is dead. So it turns out that at this point, white is basically dead. Right, so this is this is really amazing. Like, um, so that would be the answer to to the question. Actually, notice that if black directly plays the one two point, uh, white white is also dead, right? Because of same reasons, uh, white cannot. The and the idea behind is white cannot make this eye, right? Whenever he tries to make an eye we can use his liberty problem to get rid of the eye. So 
you can, I will leave you to verify that T18 also kills white, but there's a problem with it. Uh, that is, you know, later on, cause, cause white can make this R19 move a sente, right? If you block the outside, white can now resist. Uh, white can now actually just be alive. When you play this one, I can Atari. And when you throw in, I can just capture, right? And I'm alive, right? One Like one eye over here and one eye over here. Uh, black cannot kill. So for black to kill, black has to play uh, the 2-2 two -two vital point. Now, for the same reason, this is not going to work for white. But the difference being that now since white has this move, uh, basically white has a center outside, right? And this can, this move at N18 can drastically change, right, the outside. So, so true, white is still dead, but we give him the opportunity to make this N18 or even o, O18, these all sente moves. And uh, let's say let's say you have Moyo here, it would be easier for White uh, to actually live inside. So we don't want to give White that opportunity, really. Um, so the best idea is just to honey, and then come into the vital point. And now this is not a sente anymore because we can just play elsewhere. When you take, I can just turn. And then there's no problem. Uh, there's no problem for, for black whatsoever. Right, when you try to connect, I can just block this connection, you're still dead inside for the same, same reason. So, and this combination will be the correct sequence uh, to kill white. Uh, fairly simple, fairly simple corner. Just wanna add a note, at this point as white, you should not play T16, right? Instead, you should definitely play T15, right? When you play T15, I'll tell you in advance that this corner is a co. And the way you make it is if black peeps in like this, white can just defend like this, Altari, and I can make a co over here. What if you try the old method well, the difference now is that I can attach a T17. My shape looks better because my stone is a T15. Now, when you try to break my eye, I can connect over here and make a co with you, right? And this is a co co fight in the, in the corner uh, if you want to kill white. So, huge difference. They're both they're both on sorry, they're both on. Uh, the first line bit makes a huge difference. T16, white is dead. T15, uh, that's a co in the corner. Very, very important. All right, so this is uh, this week's life and death. Uh, and from now on, all life and death uh, section, I decided to uh, leave some really fun exercises. Uh, so let's look at the exercises of this week. Uh, so let's first look at the upper uh, right corner. Uh, this is uh, for players around five to six Q. So it's uh, today's knowledge, very very tightly related. Um, black plays first, uh, and he's trying to basically uh, kill white. White's corner. So the left top corner uh, is the same thing, right? Like it's it's uh, also black plays first, and this is. Uh, for three Q players, and we have a more advanced two qu uh, two problems uh, on the bottom area. The bottom left corner, uh, black plays first, and he is uh, trying to kill white. And finally, we have uh, the most difficult problem uh, at the right bottom corner. Uh, for this corner, uh, it's white. White plays first, and the question asks you to uh, basically make white uh, a clean alive. So you, uh, I already mentioned that if you extend a T5, this is going to be a co uh, in the corner, but this is not the right answer, 
right? So, so white wants to live in a clean fashion in this corner, and that is uh, the requirement for the problem. So, uh, four problems, very, very interesting, all related to big pig mouth, the knowledge we talked about today. Um, feel free to give it a try. And uh, uh, also, if you have any, any questions or if you found the answers for any of these problems, uh, feel free to post uh, below my video. Um, and if you have uh, any questions uh, to me, uh, post them as well and I'll, I'll answer to my best abilities. All right, so uh, have fun solving these problems and I will see you guys uh, next week.